When a number is multiplied by itself, you get a square number. It is called a square number because you can show its factors as a square array. So here we have one square. Here we have four squares because two times two is four. Here we have nine squares because three times three is nine. Here we have 16 squares because 4 times 4 is 16. Here we have 25 squares altogether because 5 times 5 is 25. And here we have 36 squares because 6 times 6 is 36. So the numbers 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 and 36 are all square numbers. And we have a special symbol for squared. 1 squared is 1 because 1 times 1 is 1. So this little 2 means square. And that means multiply the number by itself. So here 2 squared is 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. 3 squared is 9 because 3 times 3 is 9. And remember this little 2 doesn't mean multiply by 2, it means multiply the number by itself, and 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16, so 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25, because 5 times 5 is 25. And 6 squared is 36, because 6 times 6 is 36. Now, we have 7 times 7, so 49 squares, so 49 is our next square number. Here we have 64 squares, because 8 times 8 is 64. And here we have 81 squares, because 9 times 9 is 81. So we can say that 7 squared is 49, because 7 times by itself, 7 times 7 is 49, 8 squared is 64, and 9 squared is 81. So what is 7 squared plus 4 squared? Well 7 squared means 7 times 7, which is 49, and 4 squared means 4 times 4, which is 16. So we do the squaring first, and then we can add our answers together, and 49 plus 16 is 65, so 7 squared plus 4 squared is 65. Now we have 10 squared, so 10 times 10, and we need to subtract 3 squared, so 3 times 3. 100 minus 9 is 91, so that's our answer. Now we have 8 squared, so 8 times 8, which is 64, and we need to subtract 4 squared, which is 4 times 4, so 16. Now, 64 minus 16 is 48, so 8 squared minus 4 squared is 48.